time together and if any of you guys want to come up and say hi please feel free we don't bite unless you want us to and if you enjoy whatever it is you're about to watch or listen to, be sure to check out our website at finalshowfilms.com where you can find links to all of our other content, both podcast and video. And be sure to follow me at John A. Bates on Twitter for more updates on all of the content we're creating in the future. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I do like that it came and we're live. Fight unless you want us to. And I hope you enjoy. Okay. We're live. Let's see if this works. It appears to be. Seems to be working. All right. So I have just gotten the go ahead that we're working, but I can't currently watch the video preview because I am trying to run a game. So hello. Okay. <laughs> Great. Hello, everyone. Welcome to break first. I want to acknowledge the video from John got a little cut off. Uh, we're File Show Films. Please donate to us on Patreon and something about biting. <laughs> we're File Show Films. <laughs> Give us money. I don't actually remember it word for word because it's not said to me multiple times a week anymore. There's a right? pre-recorded video. Oh, yeah. Let's That's okay. Hear. The only part I ever remember is the the thanking the twenty five dollar uh, supporters uh, rate mm. because it's anti tonic okay. vegan. So, debate. having acknowledged that, we're going to quickly move on because we're already running a little bit late by our standards, which is quite a bit behind. So, this is break first. I'm going to introduce our players, Jack. Hey everybody, I'm Jack, and I play Ragnar Einherjer, the dwarven paladin of conquest. And Steph? I am Steph. I play Wolfina Nightdale, the Wood Elf Cleric. Alright, um, and Jeremy? Hi, I'm Jeremy. I play Click Clack, the Kanku Rogue, who needs to get his feathered ass into Roll 20. That would probably help. Auntie? <laughs> Hi, I am Antitonic, and I play Cassie, the Naga Sorcerer. And Cat. Hi, I am Cat, and I play Ska, the Wood Elf Barbarian Cleric. All right. So, now that everyone's introduced themselves. I have the brief moment where I have to switch my notes between in the two different pages. Last time on Break First, our tournament started in earnest with the preliminaries where Rag, no, or Wilfina, uh, and Click Clack all participated in unusual little, little test trials that were to serve as a sort of thinning of the pool, so to speak, making sure that the people who had the talent to do more than just hit something with a stick. Um, Wolfina met the rest of the group Hoopin, and offered to join up with the team part of this competition. As we move on from the preliminaries into the actual round, we're, we're picking up that morning where all of you have met back up and are headed into the arena in your established teams and individuals. Is there anything that I'm missing from that? Nope, I think we're headed straight there. Hmm. Cool. So... Um, yeah, as, as the group of you head in, in, you're all segmented off into your individuals and team teams, uh, the Dragonborn announcer that previously had spoken to those of you that were in the preliminary is will get up on a podium. To keep the great dragon's interest, we will be alternating between group and individual 
World Championships. While you were not in the arena, you are free to walk, touch, or relax and rest in the provided accommodation by the stadium. Simply for efficiency's sake, you will be asked not to leave the arena area until the competition is over. There, there will be three rounds worth of individuals and three rounds worth of teams. Teams barring exceptional or unusual circumstances where teams become disqualified. As a reminder, every contestant is only allowed three items, only two of which may be e weapons or spell foci, and only the one of which may be a potion. You will be expected to, You may have different items than you had in the preliminaries if you participated, but you will be expected to keep the same items throughout out the competition. It is encouraged, though not required, to coordinate with your team about the items you are bringing in, as any member of your team may be allowed is allowed to use any item. For the individuals who will start, the tournament bracket has been determined in box by the card you drew. Yay, King of Hearts. Mm. Yep. <laughs> and you can see on a list um, uh, that of a scroll that she pulls up. Essentially, everyone has been... Those that succeeded in the preliminaries um, are arranged in order of their card, essentially. Um, there are... Yeah, um, in the order of their card. Um, the teams have been arranged in such a way to keep the tournament interesting until the end as, pre as the results predict. Um... The first... Round, round will be click clack and silme. Um, click clack, you see a druid looking woman, and she's wearing um, various leathers and fur and seems not to be particularly hot despite the many layers she's wearing. Right. with elven features and sort of cut hair. Short cut hair. Okay. Um, I'm keeping the same set of items I had before. Okay. Um, yeah. Both of you are checked for your items. Um but you don't get to see your opponent's items. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. <sighs> Unless there's anything someone's going to try and do before the competition starts. Nope. To be... To be just to check and make sure, in case I didn't miss anything. Have they specified... The victory conditions or the rules in any way? Um, if not, that's fine. It sounds like they're going to do that once you're out there. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Because victory conditions may change depending on the match. Um. She had a fucking token. Okay. Well. 
fight until your opponent's nose is cut off. Okay. <laughs> Do you have? You have a beak. Beaks or noses? Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, they are also mouths. Yes. So they have to just cut off the top part of the beak. Which functionally is the same thing as cutting off all of it. <laughs> ability. Oh no, they might just take like a scoop out of the top part. And just get the nostrils. Just leave you with the bottom beak. And Click Clack had to drink out of a straw for the rest of his days. <laughs> <laughs> At least until Wolfina learned regeneration. Alright. You know what? Whatever. Um... Good enough. So, just to quickly... Are the rest of you planning on watching? Planning on going back to your rooms? Ragnar's gonna watch. Hmm. Okay. I'm watching. Yep. Totally watching. Oh, hey, right. this means I can move us to the second layout. Hmm. Ah. Thank you, Jack. Fancy, fancy. So, um, as you're brought out, there's a, a different dragonborn, um, a man who's decked in very fancy robes and clothing and seems to be holding some sort of glowing orb in front of his face that's magnifying his voice. Welcome, one and all, an esteemed dragon. At which he gestures, and all of you notice that there are two very large dragons um, viewing this from either side of the uh, map that are not visible because the dragon tokens wouldn't fit on the map without consuming it and being very distracting. Welcome for our first contest est, a test between two clever, quick, and agile members of our roster in the individual. Contestants, if you would each ascend onto the pillar next to you. it in the most stylish like <laughs> Errol Flinny way I possibly can. Acrobatics. So basically a rope appears out of nowhere. <laughs> yep. I cut another rope and ride it up. Even though those ropes are not necessarily connected. <laughs> Hollywood. Um Acrobatics. 26. Yep. Yeah, you just sort of flip onto yours. She sort of does a fairly simple pull up, just not necessarily showing off at all, but um, she does also manage to get up with the tenth. Um, yeah. And for this tournament, he sort of waves his hands and below you click clack you start to feel heat as the sort of sawdust and sand and at the base of this this um base of this arena uh, starts to change and shift um the floor is lava a magical way <laughs> For this challenge, the floor is lava. <laughs> yes! Yes! Your challenge is to knock your opponent into the lava uh, or out of the arena uh, or, or injure, convince, etc. them to the point where they, they cannot continue or choose to surrender. Um, that large pole that has been in the middle of the stadium slides down beneath the f glowing floor and you can see um, the Silme, the woman who was 
acknowledged across from you. And whenever you are ready, you may begin. Okay. I give a little bow to the opponent, and let's see how this is going to go. Um, uh, it's long. Hmm. Let's see. Those eat. Mm. While you're thinking about that, why don't I'm we roll initiative? Very briefly, yeah. Oh yeah, initiative might be good, mightn't it? <laughs> yeah. Natural 20. Okay. Well, she wasted that on something that's not going to matter much. Good. <laughs> Good. Wait. That's, that's not the correct tiebreaker, but it doesn't matter. Because there's not a tie. Yep. On the plus side, this isn't Shadowrun, so she's not taking two turns before Jeremy gets one of his. That is good. <laughs> yeah. This is not Shadowrun. Um, she's gonna start... I'm gonna say we're, we're we're largely outside of most spell ranges, so I'm hoping she'll try and get closer to me to make it easier on me. Um, yeah, and just I said this before, but that pole in the middle isn't there anymore. Right. I can't erase it from the map because it's it is the map. Um. <sighs> She really does not have the... Okay. So she's going to sort of stretch, um, give you a bit of a smile, um, and yeah, she's just going to She's going to take advantage of going first to prepare. Um, casting some sort of spell on herself. Um, and, and... Gust has a 30-foot range, so she can't do that. Um, casting some sort of spell on herself. And okay. seem to lean back a little bit uh, as, as her skin starts to molt and change, becoming covered in bark and leaves. Yay. Um... Is there is there anything other than these other pillars? That I, I mean, there's the floor around? full of lava. Right. 
Yeah, that doesn't. That is both a loss and fire. <laughs> um. There is the outer edge of the stadium. Okay, so there's like a wall yeah. thing that I yeah. So this around. wall right here is about fifty feet tall. Okay, um, and is perfect. is I think it's five. I feet was away gonna say you, this is gonna be a really dull fight otherwise because I can't jump that distance from pillar to pillar. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was part of the point is you can't just leapfrog. Um. All right. Well, I will jump there. Okay. I've. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, my eyeball from here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am not smart, so I will move closer. Uh, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, Actually, if I move there, does that pillar block block line of sight, or is the pillar shorter? The pillar is shorter enough that it doesn't block line of sight. Okay, in this day. then I will stay there. All right. For the moment. Um, and that was. I'm going to have that been my bonus action okay. move. Um. All right, it's with disadvantage, but what the fuck? Why not? And I take out my dubious bomb, and I'm going to try to. I'm going to hope that it is, if although dubious, strong enough to blow up the pillar she is standing on as I th as I light it and throw it. Okay. Make me an attack roll with disadvantage. With disadvantage, yep. Yeah. Exactly. Seventeen! Okay. So you, like, as you're getting ready to throw this thing, you can feel it nearly falling apart in your hands, and you just very quickly lob it in her direction. Um, successfully hitting the pillar, because you were aiming for the pillar, not her. Right. Um, <laughs> if the pillar's not there anymore, it doesn't matter how dexterous she is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how I mean, this she thing can grab works. Onto because what's left it... below, but then maybe she can't climb up and she's just stuck there. It is dubious, but it does explode. Um. A good chunk of the pillar she is on um, is blasted away by this, and I'm going to give her a deck save. Um, okay. Because it is a five-foot-wide pillar of solid stone. Yep. You didn't destroy it all. Oh, no, legit. Uh, Um, and she... Please tell me she net one. No, but she didn't do great. So she's barely hanging on um, by by her fingertips to the top of the pillar. She was clearly expecting to be attacked. And now the bark skin is definitely working against her as flames are licking up near her wooden feet. Go get him, Link. Hmm? That's my action. Or that's my turn. Okay. Um, she sort of groans. Didn't want to show everything in the first competition, but that is fine, 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 whatever. Um, and the um, one of these many cloaks around her, or that has some level of feathering to it. It starts to meld into her skin, and she loses bark skin, but changes with her wild shape. 
um, into the form of an owl. But I just didn't get druid tokens because um, floating above that pillar or uh, she cannot do a ton other than not be dead. So yeah, she's going to fly way over here and hope that you can't get to her. Okay. So yeah, the this woman is now a teeny tiny little owl. I mean, there's definitely further away than she was. That said. <laughs> Uh, all right, so five, ten, fifth, uh, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Bonus action, five, ten, and while he's running across, he is doing his best to show, like running along like heedless of the fact that he's running over yeah mm -hmm. uh that was five ten fifteen twenty five and from there i'm going to just to shove it in her okay how how much of that pillar is actually left at this point can i jump onto it um there's about a quarter of it left. You can definitely jump onto it. It will not necessarily be a full stable platform. That's fine. It'll get me closer. Leap over, and I'm uh, uh, with athlete movement. So, uh, jumping doesn't cost me. Or er, yeah, yeah. That's... Just make me a. Let's go with acrobatics check to balance. Okay. on that bit of the pillar because it is significant. Of course I did. Of okay. course I did. So I'm going to need a dexterity save. Okay. Oh my god. Um, The plus five isn't applicable, so that would be a 19. Nope. That's weird that it reads that way. It's something. They've changed character sheets slightly, haven't they? Yeah, roll twenty oh, no, updated something an and things changed. Okay. So click clack, you you are running and just trying to taunt her, and you leap onto the pillar she was on, and it just sort of shakes a little bit underneath you, and you see one of the lava bubbles, and you manage to grab on, but you're sort of straddling between this the what's left of this pillar and the wall. Okay. Um. Yep, that was definitely a thing that just happened. The owl is laughing at you. Uh... Okay. Did I? Did I? Um. Do I still have my action? Um, you still have your action, but you're currently using both of your hands for stability. So Can I let go long enough to throw something? You can, but you'll need to make a check not to fall into the lava. That's fine. I will do that. Okay. What check? This is going to be athletics because this is really just about putting all of your weight in one place. All right, roll well, you well, roll well, roll, uh, bleh, roll well, you feathered asshole. That's well. That's very well. Yeah, that's fine. So I, and I reached into my bag. Owls, I believe, only have like one hit point. Mm, that would seem accurate to a click clack, yes. And I pull out a ball bearing. 
that I am going to throw at the owl. Okay. So you can definitely do that. Keep in mind um, that this is a non-proficiency thing. Yep, correct. This is my, my range attack. My automatic range attack thing is, is uh, specifically not with proficiency. Yep. So. 11. Does an 11 hit an owl? Give me a second to figure that out. Please um, tell me I just killed an owl. And an armor, the armor class off. for an owl is exactly 11. <laughs> so for the purposes of this... What's your what's your dex modifier again? My dex modifier is plus five. Okay, yeah. Technically, she had two hit points because she yes! didn't get to roll that, but but yeah. Um, her owl form. Um, you just chuck this, and it boings her right in the head where she's laughing at you, and this this bird form poofs out of existence. She falls and has actually no way to stop herself <laughs> as she plummets into the lava. Um. <laughs> and the announcer's voice, again magnified by this glowing orb, comes over. Oh, that was an exciting first match. Many evil starts and get going but I think we have a winner. Is anybody making any effort to pull her out of the lava at this point? As he says the word winner, the um, the fiery heat of the lava seems to dissipate um, and it becomes stone and sand again. She is groaning a lot, but she is actually getting up. Okay, good. Because otherwise I was she... going to have to dump into lava and save someone. No, she's a level 8 character. She had enough hit points to survive uh, for a round, because this wasn't actual lava, you may have noticed, given D&D's rules around lava. Yep. Yeah, I will then drop down, obviously, try to do some kind of, like, somersault as I do so. Athletic, or acrobatics, one of yep. the two. 20s. Sure, there I'm rolling really well. I like that Click Clack rolls great on all of the things that aren't super significant. Right. Okay. Oh. And flourish at the end. Uh, there's a fair amount of applause. And the first round concludes. Cow. Oh. Go take a seat. Okay. Um. You watch another solo match and the first of the group matches before, or the team part of your group is team part of this party. Uh. is called out to the field as apparently there are lots of things going wrong with the character sheets. Not horribly wrong. Um... Roll20 just decided to do an update thing and it's screwed up a few things, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. If you uncheck, so anything that you have, anything that you might have like a global save modifier on, if you uncheck it and recheck it, it turn it, it, it resets it to default. Yep. Cool. So That's what I was hoping was going to happen. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yep, we are good. All right. Yep, I move back and sit and take a seat. Look for cool. something to drink. Because hot, hot, hot. Yeah. 
Um, there is water and stuff in the in the competitors area. Cool. Uh, Ball bearings, folks. Never underestimate. Never them. leave home without them. Ever. They're the best thing in the world. <clears throat> I submit that they're the second best thing in the world, but that's because you always need 50 feet of rope. You're not wrong. But it's, but it's a very close second. Hmm. You know, yeah. in the movie, in the movies, you know, Charlie Bronson's always got rope wrapped around him. Those ball bearings. Um, stupid yep. fucking rope. Okay. Um. So before your match, uh, those of you that are in the team, the man who's been announcing the tournament, it does come back and ask the group of you. So, you got a team name, a team description, something to spice it up a little bit. It, with the individuals, we tend to just play it by ear, call them by funny things based on what they do. But with teams, we try and ask in advance here, you understand? So I'll kind of just look at everybody else. Why don't we just call them the band you're about to hear? Click Clack right. looks at them, trying to helpfully offer a suggestion. Caca, motherfuckers? <laughs> yes. I, I'm sure Alistair would have a suggestion. but I'm, I'm sure, sure he right. would. Unfortunately, that's what you don't get to do when your player isn't here, because <laughs> I'm yeah. not naming the team what Alistair would name the team. <laughs> that's all right. We wouldn't name the team what Alistair would name the team. Um... Uh, <laughs> Probably accurate. Cocking the bulls. Yeah, no. <laughs> I en I enjoy caca motherfuckers. Speak of the oh. fucking devil. <laughs> wow. Holy. So I'm not going to say that I was. I'm not going to say that I was responsible for that, but I will <laughs> take the credit. It's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually seriously worried about someone's precognitive powers. Hey, Navarin. Um, Jack, do we need to go to break for cameras? Or... No, I'll just do it on the fly real quick. It'll be fine. Cool. Well, then. All right. So, Navarin, catch you up. Click clack one is match, and now you are being asked by the announcer what your team is called. <laughs> we thought that's what you'd say. Oh, there's so many options. Oh god, what do I go with? Call, call motherfucker. That's what we're going with. It's like Clack helpfully suggested car car motherfucker. No, no, no. It, it's you can't be that. It has to be call call and the motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, I'm not on the team. But Click Clack isn't with our group, so that doesn't yeah. really work. Click Clack is actively not on the team. Oh, well. The team is Wolfina, Ska, Carsey, Alistar, and Sylvester. Okay, so options. We have um, the Heroes of Rhyme. Um, we, ha we have uh, Bard Jovi. We have Bard to the Bow. <laughs> Um, they're probably dwarves. Hmm? Uh, yeah. The announcer will sort of look at you. Finish up your huddle real quick. Hey, if we don't have forever, dragons don't keep other, themselves entertained. In other words, Aaron is saying, let's cut this short so you can't think of worse pun. <laughs> no, in other words, Aaron is saying... There is actually a time limit on yeah. how long you have to think of this, because I know you people, and it would take you all day. Alright, okay, fine. Right, look. look I, I, I hear the guy ask who we're called, um, and I like bring out my loot, and I strum a chord, and... Uh... 
<laughs> I raise my guitar, or my lute to the sky, and I say, Hello! Feywild, we <laughs> are the sex crossbow. <laughs> yes. yes! <laughs> no, Marin, I take back everything bad I've ever said or thought about you ever. I take back. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna make him make a roll because let's see if he's tempted. I take back uh, nothing, and yet. <laughs> <laughs> the sex is, his wisdom is okay. If we title episodes, <laughs> I'm sorry, but a, the sex crossbows is not a child appropriate name. <laughs> God damn it! That's when was this a child appropriate <laughs> podcast? Kaka, <Ha>, motherfucker! <laughs> is it the? That is what the <laughs> announcer tells you. Oh. <laughs> Perfectly child appropriate. They don't know what it means. <laughs> it's a meaningless name. Look, I'll give you guys five minutes. I have to actually go check with the other team about their name. But yeah, we need to keep it PG 13 at the most, aside from the blood, guts, and gore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the Feywild is the MPAA, is what you're telling me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> The Feywild is where burning someone alive, that's fine for TV. Swearing, let's let's not tempt it. But yeah, he'll he'll walk off and you guys have a few minutes to discuss your team name. Uh, sex hand crossbows? <laughs> Alright, I, I fine. I don't believe that that's the part that they're having an issue with. Fine. Arrowsmith. <laughs> yes. I don't want to miss a thing. You know okay. what? You had me until you had to reference that specific <laughs> song. Yes. All right, De Def Leprechaun. No, I've got it. I've got. Oh, damn it. Oh, I can't call us uh, the best name in the world because fucking um, other A name character left. Uh, what's his name? What was his name? Antioch. Andrew. Antioch. Can we call, if we had Antioch, we could call ourselves Daft Monk. <laughs> you can play on Rage. You have a barbarian. Rage against oh, yeah. the machine. What's a no. machine? Rage, yeah, rage. What's a machine? Rage against the trebuchet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah. Florence and the Warforge. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, Meanwhile, Ragnar's over there. Who the fuck is Florence? <laughs> Florence is Bakora's real name. Oh, oh no, I've okay. Got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, <laughs> no. No. we're Mithril, we're Mithril back. <laughs> yes. Mithril yes. back. Oh my god. <laughs> Mithril back. And what the hell is that on Cassie's head? <laughs> you know what? I like it. Mithril back it is. I mean, we, like, My we alchemical could, romance? We could just go with Iron Maiden. Like, it would work. <laughs> no. No, no. Mithril back. You Mithril have, back. Like, why isn't this ever on? We could be Adamantine Dirigible. <laughs> <laughs> well, because if no, this no. was ever on, I wouldn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. Also, I gather Evron has a slightly different Feywild. Mm. Uh, yeah. the is pretty much the All right, same. no, no, no. So I like the original. What about crossbows <clears throat> and roses? Nah. Oh. Mithril back. Mithril back. <laughs> Fine. <Yeah. laughs> Grateful undead. <laughs> no, because we don't have we don't have Einar, so no. Mm. If we had Einar, I'd be all about it. Blink 
dog one eight two. You left that dog somewhere. I don't remember where you left the dog, but you don't have a dog anymore. Oh, if we had Einar, uh, we could be Rob Zombies. <laughs> that too, but we don't. About at this point, um, the Avenged Seven Gold. Sorry. <laughs> About at this point, the announcer returns. So, lovelies, what's it gonna be? You got an option, or am I picking for you? Counting Stormcrows. Let's roll back. Let's roll back. Okay, whatever you say. Sure. Um, he'll... And he'll sort of go through starting his spiel. Um, well... We have a returning team from last year. You know them. You of them the seasons of the blade. And um, you see this group um, across from you in, of four Eladrin, each one seeming to be of a different season. Um, one dressed in robes and finery of some sort, or uh, and clearly with the bright colors of summer um one with it's the green of spring wrapped in her hair hair which it which she quickly pulls a cloak over her and otherwise dark colors um one with the sort of autumn coloration and of gold and Browns, who has a sort of large spear and axe um, in each hand. And one who's sort of leaning towards the back in heavy armor um, with icicles around his face. And new this year. Yeah, they had trouble picking a name, if you know what I mean. In Mithrilback. So happy. And I don't feel like I need to describe you, but all of you walk out. Um. For this one, we're keeping it simple. Just to see how each of you do in a more traditional situation. Fight. Eight and... They'll surrender, or... You've lost half your group. And begin. And we're going to have everyone roll initiative. Who ya? Ooh. Unprepared, all my spells. That's yes. I, um, we had this conversation earlier, but very briefly, the character sheet's all fucked up. If you had any universal modifiers, you're gonna need to check them and uncheck them. You're gonna need to reprepare your spells and. That's fine. Yeah. I, I have all my spells prepared because I know all my spells. That's fair. You're a bard. Yeah. Pal Paladins too. <laughs> Sorry, I'm supposed sorry, to ignore have... my ignore my extra die wrong. Sorry, that's probably coming in. No, it's it. Um... There are new things in the character sheet, so I am playing with them. <laughs> well, I am not. Well, I am not in combat. That's fine. I just apparently have to add all of these initiatives manually because I fucked something up when I was making this.
That's not rolling privately. Got it. <laughs> hey, you get to see their initiative anyways, so. All right, now remember, the summer ones are going to try to attack you head on. The autumn one is going to try and scare you. The winter one is going to go hide. And the spring one is just going to get everybody drunk. You know, so. those are 50-50 those are <laughs> almost accurate to the way that the Ladrin personality types work. Oh, yeah? Um, oh, it's kind of funny. Yeah, summer, summer's the ones that are aggressive or forefront most of the time. Winter ones are the ones that are... Not necessarily scared, but standoffish and cold. Mm -hmm. um, and the other two are nothing alike. Right. <laughs> uh, so, which ones tell only truths and which ones only lies? Yes. Oh, let's not get into that conversation. That was a whole long thing a few days ago. I like riddles. I just don't include them in my games for very good reasons. Everything else should go faster. It's just that the initiative on these is stupid. Oh, because yeah. I fucked up making the character sheets. So for spellcasters, by the way, since there's no longer, at least that I can see, a preparer op you check click, mark. You, you, you click the, the you circle. Click the, yeah, you click the circle. Who <laughs> Oh, the priest hasn't rolled. Okay. Oops. So, and it's screwed up somehow because it's not letting me actually get um, the right thing for initiative, but that's fine. I just did it again and it worked. Wow, that's convenient. <laughs> hmm? What thing for initiative, Cat? Oh, no, I guess it is doing it, isn't it? It rolled it's... your advantage just fine. Yeah, it just doesn't show up the way that I thought it was going to. Okay. I'll I mean, fix if my you hover over it, it seems to show up just like it always has. All right, so okay. I, will, I will fix it so that I'm back to 21 where I should be. There we go. All right. Guy, you're going first. Okie dokie then. <laughs> um, oh, and feel free to rearrange yourself um, a little bit in that general area if you want to. I just dragged you all from the from the stand. Right. Um, but I like the concept that literally you're standing on the stands and then it's your turn and they literally just catapult you over the wall into the arena. <laughs> oh no, shit! They they have you walk out. <laughs> No, that is quite funny, I thought. Okay. Um, um, oh, who's, Sylvester who's needs to roll. That's right. I'm yeah, also piloting say. your fucking NPC. I can ah. fix that. I'll wait, because he might get higher than me. What does he do? Just make sure you know what you're doing, because most likely he won't. Yeah. Yeah, he rolled. Okay. What, what's his like? How, do I know what he does? Like, in a, does he like hit things with a sword or what? Yes, he hits things with a sword. He has a very fancy silver sword. Okay. Yep. That is what he has done in every fight you guys have been in with him. Cool. <laughs> but that's all right. You don't remember that anyway. <laughs> I don't really. I'm more interested in what I can do to him. Yep. Oh Nothing. my. Nothing. Not interested. Wasn't asking. Uh, all right. Um, well, we've been told to just attack, right? So I'm gonna um, go into a rage, I guess. Um, 
in my rage, and I will pop that back into chat for anyone who needs to remember Primal Path, just in case it comes into effect. And my speed is 45. So I can get to about there. Um, I can't actually hit anyone as of yet because all I brought in was weapon wise is my great sword are there any rocks you could throw a rock at somebody um, <laughs> no but I did bring in my spell focus as well so I I have all of two slip spell slots but I already went into a rage um so can't, I can't actually do that unless I wait until after can we say I wait until after I cast the spell to go into a rage? Sure. Just keep it in mind in the future. Yes, I, I will remember. Okay, so then I am going to cast Guiding Bolt at first level at this dude. Why is Probably doesn't have the attack, the spell attack, in. Yeah, because everything got messed um, up. Um, did you have plus on? Because it no, that's plus. that's what, yeah. Because everything, like I said, everything okay. got screwed up. Let's try that again without that. Guiding bolt. Hey, look, a natural twenty. Sure. Who'd you hit with that? So then, uh, yeah, this dude you... right here. The the one the one with the white okay. background. Yep, the guy with the spear. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you do quite a bit of radiant damage to him. Uh -huh. It's 15 plus 13. That's not too bad for the first strike. Nope, 28 on the hit. That's pretty good. Yep. So yeah, so I, I hit him with, with radiant damage and then I go into a rage. Okay, yep. He is hit with radiant damage. He doesn't seem... It, actually, he does seem to stagger back a bit. That was a pretty bad... Um, pretty bad hit. Okay. Uh, and there... Thing about clerics is you never get a chance to do any of the cool things because you just have to heal people. <laughs> a lot of times, yep. Um, so yeah, unless that's you just insist a... on doing cool things. <laughs> the priest is going to place a hand on this guy. Um, mutter some quick words and you see this glowing ener energy of sunlight. Um, Navarin, can you still see Flesh hear us? Yep. Great. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, he looks a little bit revitalized. And then it's going to use the rest of his movement to move back to here. All right, that's his turn. Um, and Scott, the one with the heavy armor will go up to you, laid ready. All right. I'm probably s still in the middle of my howl for my rage. Yep. And... Come at me, bro! Okay, he gets a... 12, which I believe hit misses, and a natural 20, which I believe hits. Uh, yeah. Okay. So you take... 17 plus 18 slashing damage. 
which oh. is reduced because it's non-magical. Um, yeah. So I that would actually just be 17 damage because 17 plus 18 divided by two right. is 17. In D and D, where math can go fuck itself if it's complicated. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that is that is that is harsh. All right. Yep. Um, and sort of stares at you with his blade out. Um, yeah. Remember, the rules are you have to take down two of the people. Because okay. that would be half of both of your teams. Um, so the, the, the howl becomes an owl halfway through. <laughs> How? Lucina, that would make it your turn. Okay. Um... I'm kind of trying to make a visual assessment of the other group really quickly, and rather than try and code this into game language, I'll just say I'm skimming around for somebody on the other team whose dump stat is charisma. Okay. Yeah, make me an insight roll. Okay. As I check everyone's charisma stat. Why did that not roll? Come on. Oh, okay. Bring that thing. 17. With the 17, you suspect the glowering guy next to Sky is probably. Okay. What I am going to do is start right off the bat with one of my two fourth level spells and cast Banishment on that guy. He needs to make a charisma save, right? Yes, he does. Okay. Versus What's your my DC? DC, which is, I'm just double checking, it is 16. Okay. So, yeah, an 8 doesn't even come close. <laughs> uh, He's gone for the next minute. But uh, <coughs> what is the range on banishment out of curiosity? 60 feet. Oh, yep, you're in range. All right, so you sort of place out your hand and you can feel the extra dimensional spell get a bit caught in the magic of the Feywild itself, probably because they want people to actually return to finish their matches if, if those spells run out. Um, but the spell seems to take full effect, and Ska, this guy who just stabbed you is suddenly gone because clerics don't get counterspell. So, well, alrighty then. I'm like, one down! That's my turn. Yep. And keep in mind that is concentration. Yes, it is. Or wait, hang on, where is... I don't even see it being concentration. Banishment's definitely concentration. It doesn't yep. say it on the card, though. Yeah, no, the card doesn't always, unfortunately, but... Looking it up in the book. Sure, it is concentration, but it's very... Yep, annoying. concentration up to one minute. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. No, I know because I've had trying to keep banishment up while being beaten on situations before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am going to stay in the back. Okay. Fair enough. That's going to be the next one, and let's see if he figures out who did that. I think he probably will, but... Okay, with a natural one, no, he doesn't. Awesome! He knows that it was one of the ones that isn't Scob, most likely, but he's kind of dumb, apparently. Um, or at least lacks insight. Yay. And he also needs to be rolling his rolls secretly, just because otherwise it clogs up chat. Uh, annoyingly, it seems that all of my spells have lost their modifier. <laughs> their spells, sorry, they've all, all their spellcasting abilities have gone blank, so I've just put them all yeah, back if you, Yeah, if you go back, if you go into the gear and just, like, click and unclick everything that you have... I would it suspect that Roll20 did this because it very soon is going to announce a character creation feature thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's live now. That's it, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Well, then that that explains yeah. why the character sheets are modified. Yeah. Though it's good to know for all of you who use Roll Twenty, you're gonna have to do that thing you do every few months, where you go in and make sure all of the stuff works on the character sheet and nothing's lost and everything. Also, right. the character mancer kind of sucks. Who's uh? Yes, there's only got SRD stuff. Um. It's not your turn, but who's up? This. The one with the green hair and earthy aesthetic that put it under a hood. Um, All right. It was actually a spy, but that you don't know that yet. Um, spy yeah. Jack. Spy Jack. Let's see. And what did Sylvester do, or is he not gone yet? He hasn't gone yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, Sylvester... Sylvester roll actually is going after Alistar. I just forgot to put him on the turn order. There we go. Because he rolled like shit. Okay. So. This, um... Individual is going to actually sneak attack doesn't require you to be hidden if you have an ally in range. Yep, within yep. five feet of target. Gonna sneak back to there, then do some attacking. Okay, let's see. But the oh, one yeah, that's within perfect. five feet of me has been banished, isn't he? Or does this one count as being within five feet? That is right. Banished. He has no one within five feet, so he's just going to be making these attacks. Um, yep. Because I don't feel like removing him totally, he's got a little pink dot to remind everyone he's banished. Sounds, sounds good. The pink dot of banishment. <laughs> Because none of the icons really say not on this plane of existence. Vanish to the Shadow Realm. Where he will be psychologically tortured by his own body image and sense of personal identity being erased? Sure, why not? Sounds about right. I'm going to make oddly specific references if people bring up Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Um... 22, I believe, hits you, and in 10, I note. 21 hits you, a 10 doesn't. Uh, except I would be trying to bend luck on that first one. Okay, go ahead. Good choice. So I get to spend two sorcery points, which I do now. It's my reaction. It was a 21, though? Yep. All right, you're, If you're only doing a d4, it wouldn't okay. matter anyway. Carsey doesn't necessarily know. Um, oh, but you know. 21 minus 4 is a number. 8, 7... 17. 17, thank you. Scott, does a 17 hit you? Yes. So, Carsey, you feel... You reach out and, like, let your chaos shift this force as much as you possibly can. Um, but unfortunately, the arrow still... Those strikes true, though slightly less vitally. Oh, no. What a shame. And Scott, you take eight piercing damage. Um, okay, so that's four? Yeah. Just a reminder, or I'm fine with some conversation, but no actual metagaming, please. Um, that would be reduced to four. Okay. Alistar, that makes it your turn. Yes, now I have a decision to make. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Sylvester. Hmm? How willing are you to let me do this this thing, which will help us a lot? To you. I don't think having intercourse on the field is going to help, but if you have magical ideas, I'm open to it. Yeah, I have a magical idea, as well as the other one. Um, I'm ace. No. I... Yes. Sure. 
Um, but... You know Sylvester what? So much. You like to go hit things. I like to help people go hit things. Uh, just, just go with me on this journey, okay? I put my hand on his shoulder, uh, and I cast Greater Invisibility. Okay. Alright. Yeah, he seems to know what happened. Uh, uh, but yeah. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Move. Um... Yeah, I'm going to, uh, just so I'm aware, um, who's going after me, Sylvester, and then, oh, fuck it, I'll buy the inspiration, um, Sylvester, because why not? Okay. Um, just because I know that things have gotten messed up, um, Keep in mind that greater invisibility is concentration if you do get yep. hit. Cool. I will hide and behind this pillar. It's his turn. And now you have an invisible blood hunter. This is yes. going to be great. You have advantage when attacking while invisible. Also, it doesn't actually turn off when you attack because it's greater invisibility. <laughs> yeah. And there's no way he can actually get up to where any of them are, so he's just going to try and get... He didn't bring a ranged weapon, because he brought his shield, like a person <laughs> who values his life. Oh, that's his problem. <laughs> he's going to get to over there. Um... Shield's a ranged weapon, right? Cap? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, you can throw that some of it. Absolutely, can be. You can also <laughs> improvise, throw a shield. For a second there, I thought you said cat, and then I realized you said cap. <laughs> Either so, way, still I works. consider I consider consider Marvel's adamantium to be similar to D and D magic weapons. Vibranium, yeah. Oh, that's right. That one. I think it depends on which iteration. I think sometimes it is both. And it's been, it's... yeah. I'm not a comic nerd, so I, I'm just a, I'm just looking for the nearest analog that I would understand. <laughs> yeah, vibranium's the same thing, but not very X Men. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> and as we move on, before the actual Marvel nerd in the room corrects us, <laughs> I was very specifically keeping quiet. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, yay, it's the thug's turn. I like the thug. Also gonna make that insight roll. And he does know what happened to his friend. So he's gonna get to over here. Movement. And... Wolfina, you have this man with a spear facing you down, and he's going to use his abilities to... No, it's just a spear with reach. Okay, that's cool. And I'm assuming a 15 hits you? A 15 does not hit me. Okay. Okay. I have some good armor. Must be nice. <laughs> and a shield, so yeah. Yep. Uh, just as a reminder, a shield does count as an item for the purposes of this, I assume you know that. Uh, <laughs> Yes, because armor doesn't, right? Armor doesn't, but the shield does. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he... He was... He's gonna make his second attack. Oh. Why do all of my guys crit? I'm not complaining, but... Damn. 
All right. So, Wolfina, you're going to need to make me a wisdom saving throw as he stabs in for 10 piercing damage. Or 10. Wisdom save? Or a. Wisdom save. Okay. And a con save. And a con save, I was going to say. Yeah, the con save for your concentration. (laughs) Well, that is right. Wisdom saves because he's got a fancy weapon. So 16 on the wisdom and 13 on the con save. Okay. Um, half of the damage is 10. So 10 is higher than 10, but also lower than 10. The point is your con save succeeds. Um, wait, no, half of the damage is five. So yes, a 10 would succeed. And on the wisdom save, a 16, you feel some sort of magical effect laced in with this blade, but you manage to hold it off. Um, yeah. So how much damage am I taking? Um, you're taking 10 bludgeons, or 10, 10 piercing damage. I don't know why I keep missing okay. that. Um, 10 piercing damage from his spear. All right, and that's going to make it Karsu's turn. Okay, I will point my staff towards Scar and just basically say to myself, win me glory and cast haste. All right, make me your chaos check. Uh, And what's the range on haste? It's not a natural 20, you're fine. Uh, is it? Oh, it's not a 20, it's... Uh... Yeah, it's a 1, not a 20. This has come up a fair bit in our other game with the wild magic. Um, Wait, that's... Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, distance So you would have needed to get closer to yeah. cast that on Scott. I can use the uh, distance spell sorcery point. Okay. That works. So now I'm hasted? Now you are hasted. And again, keep in mind when you've got a concentration spell. And then I will use my speed burst ability, which as an Naga, I can basically crawl on the ground and increase my speed by five feet for the turn. And using that to 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35. Swing around that pillar. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Sky, you're hasted. I'm hasted and I'm raging. <laughs> and I went easy on them last time because I didn't take my extra attack. And, and I'm good at that. And the guy that's there is not. That is correct. But this dude is here. Yep. So I'm going to move here. And I am going to attack hey. him uh, thrice. Because that's awesome. Alright. First one is a 13. That's a miss. Okay. Second one's a 19. A 19 will hit. For six slashing. Third is 21. Also for six slashing. Why does that seem wrong? No, that's wrong. No, you're you're not actually rolling dice for those damages yet. Yeah, it didn't. Ah, it changed up the damage. Okay, hold on. Let me fix yeah. this. Really you, quick. You, Two, yeah. Six plus that. 
using six plus three plus three. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. Now let's see if I can. Okay, there we go. So eleven damage and ten damage. There we go. It's two of them hit. He's looking pretty wounded at this point. Um, because that's the guy you hit before too. Yep. <sighs> yes, it is. All right. If we take him out, do you think that'll count? I don't know, but here's hoping. Um, yeah, so then that would be right. the end of my turn. And now remember, with uh, if he is hostile toward me, then anyone who attacks him with a melee attack gets advantage. Shockingly, he's hostile and towards you, given that you've done more than his health and da half his health and oh. damage. And you know what I just realized also? I'm I oh never mind because I was gonna say I'm, I didn't do reckless that's right never mind I'm just raged okay. so never mind. yeah they got a rogue you probably don't want to do reckless mm. yeah no it's because all of the stuff that I used to have open so that I could see it has closed itself so uh -huh. I was like oh right, I have to go back through and all right so priest is gonna. There's a quick sort of exchange of nods between the priest and the guy with the spear out. And let's see. Oh, that can hit. Jeez. All right. <laughs> That can hit everyone. Oh, goody. Yay, fireball formation. Hmm. Yep, Countess, I'm gonna count, need everyone to make me... Spell. Oh. Um, you don't necessarily automatically recognize it, so if you'd like I've... to try and recognize the spell, that's gonna... Well, so, you don't automatically... I was going to jump in at the point you said he cast a spell, but I heard fireball first, so... Okay, Jack said fireball, I didn't say fireball. Yeah. But, yes, it does seem like something is about to be cast. I mean, I can roll something if you want. I was going to count the spell anyway, that's why I shouted it so quickly. Alright. Roll, roll your counter spell. Uh, what level is the spell? You don't know. No, I don't, unless... It's it is a level where you're going to need to roll if you cast at third level. Right, okay. So, I make a spell casting ability check. Yeah. Which... Which is an unproficient charisma check for you. Mm -hmm. But I then add my... Um, Jack of all trades, which I believe is a plus two at this level. No, half um, of them, which is, but it's rounded down. So, well, I don't think Jack of All Trades applies to Jack this of all check. Trades is, it absolutely does. That's why Bard's so good at It's ability it. checks. So, in this case. No, I'm it's an ability it. check, not a skill check? Okay. Hmm. Yep. yep. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no separate thing for skill checks. Everything's an attack, a save, or an ability check. Okay. Awesome sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kick ass! So, my proficiency bonus is three. Let right me now? look at your character yeah. sheet. It's it's three. Um, should be three. We're eight. Level, yeah, we're level uh, eight, so mm -hmm. it's a one. Mm -hmm. So it's a yeah. uh, charisma plus one, so it's plus six. Uh, that sounds. I'm right. just gonna roll plus six. Okay. Twenty-four. Yeah. That'll, <laughs> That'll probably counter it fairly well. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations, you countered anything up to a level 12 spell. Which doesn't exist. <laughs> yep. Bards! My reaction is now gone. <laughs> yes, it is. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Cool. With 
that dispelled, that is the priest's turn, making it the vessel's turn. Who's just gonna... Continue being banished? Continue banished. being banished, because he doesn't get a save. Banish is a good spell. Yes, it yeah. is. It is real good. Alright, <clears throat> your turn. Okay, so I'm crossing my fingers, knock on wood, that the whole down two party members includes the guy that's banished. So, in a panic, I'm going to attack this guy here, <laughs> and this is what I'm going to do, and I want to make sure when I use a spell, I can use a cantrip, correct? Um, I cast a spell, is that how yes. you run this? Um, so I'm going to do two Cantrips things. are spells except for, for the purposes of, like, number of spells cast a turn. Well, that's what I mean. Like, because what I'd like to do is use my action to cast the cantrip mm -hmm. Sacred Flame, and then use my bonus action <laughs> to cast Spiritual Weapon. And try um, and yes, you can do both of those things. Okay, yeah. so that's what I'm gonna do. I just want to make sure I've had some funky campaigns where they yeah, it's it's it an action economy. One of the weirdest parts of the action economy. Yes. <laughs> Especially if you go by the book where bonus action cantrips are counted differently. Um, but yeah, you can you can do so, those. Um, yeah. Sacred flame. He needs a deck save. Alright. Let's see if this sacred this flame has better luck than mine do. <laughs> Eighteen. Sorry. Oh, so he makes it. He takes no damage. Yeah. Um, and then my spiritual weapon. So I have yeah. summoned a eleven force damage. Yep. Um, I have summoned a um a moon touch short sword that's glowing in the air right in front of me. And if I move because he has reach, he will make an attack of opportunity. <clears throat> that would be your guess, yes. Okay, I'm not going to do anything then. If you leave his reach, it. if you if you leave okay. us, that's us what where I he's threatening. Okay, that's what I thought. I was just making sure. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and give you control of that real quick. <clears throat> You can actually take five, st uh, five foot. Like you can step backwards away from him as long as long as you don't leave the ten foot radius. He actually can't attack you, unless he's got a feet. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. That's why I was okay. trying to get across there. Sorry. I can't move it yet, but. Yeah, it's That's weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's gonna you know be what? right. Everyone can move it because for some reason it wasn't letting me assign it just to you. That's fine. It's probably not going to move. Yeah. Well, it's it's there. It's a thing. Um, yeah. All right. And the spotlight is hidden, so what he's going to do is... Sneak up around here. And... Yeah, he's got advantage from being hidden, so he's not going to bother trying to get next to an ally. Alright, um... Wolfina, I'm assuming a 21 hits you. Yes, it does. Alright. He gets sneak attack, which is... Should I make my con save now or wait? Um, you can make it now. I'll tell you how much damage it is in a second. Um, not that much. Um, yeah. 10! Okay. 
Yeah, so you take um, 12 damage and... Yeah, 10 would meet the DC, which means it succeeds. Oops, sorry. No, it's fine. Um, you said 12? Yeah. So you take 12 damage from okay. that, um, but you succeed the con save. All right. I'll start. You're good. Yes, okay, right. So, um, maintaining concentration. <laughs> uh, do I see the, um, the person who just attacked Wolfina? Yeah, it is no longer hidden because... Right. Yeah. Um, in that case... Uh, let's have a good old fashioned um I can't split up for that. Let's have a good old fashioned uh, dissonant whispers. Okay. What's the save on that? Uh it is a wisdom save against this DC sixteen. Okay. <clears throat> 13 fails, so roll your damage on that. Mm -hmm. I need to pull the spell card on that. Uh, let's just roll it like this for now. Ooh, 6. Slow. But, yep. hey, fuck off, which is what I was hoping. Um. Um, yeah, so further away from you would be this way. Yeah, yep, pretty much anywhere. That uh, they can get to that is away from me. So yeah, this guy takes a little bit of psychic damage and just fucks off in the opposite direction. Yep. Uh, and that's the yep. That's them. Um. And then bonus action. No, I've already used an inspiration. Uh, I'm gonna save that. All right. Sylvester's turn, and all of the fighting has moved away from him again. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Get the spear guy. He has 30 feet of movement and no melee it, and no range. Um, yeah, well, make a dash. dash. <laughs> he can. Actually, you know, that's what he's going to do. He's going <sighs> to dash up and threaten the priest. Oh, sick. I'm into that. Uh, he doesn't have an attack. <clears throat> it's okay. The priest probably doesn't know he's being threatened because Sylvester's invisible. <laughs> yeah. Sylvester's invisible, but that doesn't mean he can't take attacks of opportunity if the priest moves. The priest totally tore a putty tat. We're moving on. <laughs> I love the amount, the 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 delay there between just absolute I, silence. I, I got it immediately, but just waiting for anyone else to jump in. No, not not getting it. Just the. All right, I need a moment to process this. Moving on. So, yeah, because they're just trying to get their friend back at this point, the thug's going to make more attacks against Wolfina. Nine misses. Getting picked on, guys. 23 hits. Sorry. It does. What's um, your 18. Yeah, uh, cutting words. Yep. Um, my bardic inspiration die is currently a d8. Your shit! <clears throat> so a 19 still does hit just barely. Yeah. Damn. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, so you take 
four piercing damage because apparently he can't roll. And you need to also make me a wisdom save from the sphere. <clears throat> 25 and a con right. save of 16 yeah both of those are fine as he is just trying to get you to lose your concentration on this spell and it is not working and he's got a raging shit. barbarian on his back at the moment so and a glowing spectral yep. short sword in front of him yeah he's not in a great position uh, no at all. At all at all. Um, but Carsey, it's your turn. Please kill him. <laughs> so, this is actually going to be fun because I'm going to continue with this even though things have changed. I will peek out from just around the side of this pillar and attempt to chaos bolt the priest. Okay. Chaos bolt the Yeah, because you oh. can't see the invisible character. Um, Mm -hmm. We should probably have some sort of icon indicating that. So that's a 10. A 10 <sighs> will not hit, but I want you to roll me a d20 to see if you manage to misfire given you don't know where this person is. Hmm. So both so, times on the 20s, yeah, I've rolled a one. I'm going to say that hits your ally. Uh, was it a one? Was it a one on the? Yep. The oh. the, the chaos so was magic. Was that the chaos magic, or was that the? Yep, the same as the other time. Okay. Yay! So, <laughs> I think it should have gone off twice, but oh well. I thought it was. I don't. Yeah. So I thought, I thought yeah. it was ones, but then you said twenties, and I'm like, oh, okay. I think it's one. Oh yeah, last time it was it was on twenty. Uh, all right. So search. as we all go to D and D Roll Beyond, I have a one. book. That also works. Ugh. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you roll a one, roll on the wild magic surge table. I guess yep. It's going off now. Um. Yeah. So roll your wild magic surge. And that is <clears> the <throat> hundred. Fifty-eight. All right. So with a fifty-eight, <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put this in chat because it wouldn't be immediately evident. All right. But at some point you're going to find that out. For the next 10 rounds. Yep. All right. And I do want you to roll me a d20 independent of that to see whether or not you hit your ally. That's uh, a seven. Okay, yeah. So, um, roll damage on your chaos bolt. <laughs> All right. So, thirteen. And let's see if the numbers are the same. Yep. If you roll the so same numbers, the, the chaotic energy leaps from the top. As this bolt of energy goes directly towards him and lands against a mag something invisible in front of him. So it, I assume it hits Sylvester then. Yeah. Because then it also bounces to the like anyone within thirty feet, which is the priest. So now I need to make another attack roll against that him. Is correct. There is an upside to this. Which is a seven. Yeah, that makes it. Sorry. Womp womp. All right. 
So it's fire energy, if that matters. Uh, not for him, no. You can't do silver fire energy. Huh. Also, he's not currently a werewolf. Scott, your turn. Alrighty oh, and, then. Sorry, I was also going to move to the next pillar. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> um, am I still hasted? You should be, unless yep. concentration just, just, was lost. Just making sure. Alright. Concentration. Uh, what? It's not concentration. Yeah, asphalt. No, it's an instant. Okay. Alright. Then three attacks with the great sword. One, two, three. So, right. the... so the 16 and the 21 hit. The 15 does miss. Okay. So it's 14 slashing and then 9 slashing. Ow, he's not doing great. And then that would be my turn. Alright. It's gonna make it the priest's turn. Who apparently has something invisible in front of them they just found out about, and that's not great. Okay. The range on the Healing word range is 30 feet, I think. It's 60. I just oh, checked. 60? Yep. It's yes. a nice spell. Goodness. Um, and is just going to call out in Sylvan to his ally, who gets... The one I'm about to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Alistar, it looks like that char- the same person is going to be casting again. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'll try and I'll try and identify what the spell is. Okay. Um. Because I'm less likely to counter spell this time. Yeah. All right. Arcana. Uh, Arcana. Twenty-two. With the 22, it's definitely some variety of healing spell. Eh, it's fine. Okay. And that is some hit points back to the poor thug who's not doing great. <clears throat> Alright. He's still banished. Wolfina, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to use my action to disengage, and I'm going to move... Come on. Operate. Yeah, I'm going to move and hide um, behind the pillar with um, Alistair. Got it. Hey, what's up? And then as my... Hold on, where are you? And then as my... Bonus, I'm going to attack with the spiritual weapon. Sure. Make that attack roll. Fourteen? Fourteen, unfortunately, misses him. Okay. That's my turn. Oh. All right. So... Spy is going to use cunning action to hide. And that beats all your passives, so... Yeah, there's... Uh, is just gonna scoot to here. Um, well, he can't, because he needs to hide behind something. He has to be. 
Well, that's fine, actually. That's fine. Hand crossbow. Scott, a crit hits you, and a five misses you. Wait. He had advantage on that second one. An 18 also hits you, I believe. Oh, God. Yes. Yes, it does. All right. You take eight piercing damage and then one piercing damage reduced to four and one. Okay, so minus five. Scott, that's right. I'm assuming that you've added your your AC for haste. Oh, 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 oh. Um. It's a plus two. It's a plus two. That makes my AC 17, so. 18 still hits. Yeah. yeah. Oh, darn, you take one more damage than you would have otherwise taken. <laughs> oh, shucks. Death by paper cuts. Hmm. I will write myself a note so that I remember it my It is possible to eventually die from one damage around. Yeah. Yep. Just not very likely. Yep. All right. I've written myself a note so I don't forget that again. <laughs> Alistar, your turn. All right. Um... I'm going to deal with that guy with the spear. Um... I think, let me just check something quickly, yeah, seven charges, and I haven't used it in a while, so it must have recharged to full. Um, uh, although, no, maybe I, maybe I want to use, take advantage of some other stuff. Yeah, okay. Um, maintaining my concentration... Uh, means that I can't use any of the other stuff. Damn. Okay. Um, let's just go with the classic. Let's viciously mock um, the spear using guy. Okay. Which is 60 feet, so I'm in, I'm in range. Um, syntax error. Excellent. Uh, spell casting ability is charisma. Viciously mock. There's no damage dice appearing in there. Okay, that's... Yay! Roll 20! Cantrip dice is set. I don't know why I wouldn't roll that. Cool technology. Uh... Uh... Alright, I'm just going to delete that and do it again. Uh... Sorry, bear with me. Uh, the vicious mockery goes away. Then it comes back again. Uh, there we go. That's not right. It should be 2d4 because we're level 8. Alright, just roll right. d4. Just roll another d4. Alright, so 5. 5 psychic damage and a dc16 wisdom save. Yep. Let's see. His wisdom's great. So, three. I'm assuming three is less than 16, so yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, I can confirm that is the case. Five, and I believe the secondary effect is um, something about disadvantage. Yeah, and the, the next attack he makes uh, is made at disadvantage. Great. They've done such a great job getting any of you down so far, so that's that's super concerning. Mm. Uh, but that's going to make it Sylvester's turn, and he's invisible. And there's a squishy cleric right there. Finally! Also, he's got bardic inspiration. 
And he's got Bardic <laughs> Inspiration if his plus six to hit is not enough. I mean, clerics can wear plate armor. They can. This one's wearing... Is apparently actually wearing a chain shirt. But that still hits. Uh. Alright. So, let's just push that card down. Um... 14 hits, so 7 damage to the cleric. Then... Uh, he technically has advantage because he's invisible. Right, okay. So we'll count those first two as... Uh, uh 17 hits, so... Six more damage as this cleric just clearly gets punctured by something and starts bleeding quite a bit from undiscernible causes of invisible... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I blame the economy. Sure. That's how the economy works. It's a very cutthroat economy here on the Feywild. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the Feywild, that could entirely be literal. Uh, yeah, and I'm not speaking in puns. I'm speaking literally. Actually, the economy in the Silvered Peaks is doing pretty fucking well because it's the totalitarianism rolled over by two powerful dragons with no contests to how they say their economy is doing. You pay for... You pay for, for new shoelaces by cutting someone's throat. No, you pay for new, for new shoelaces by bringing in money from outside. Which increases the hordes, which is nice. Alright. That's going to make it the Thug's turn. Carsey, keep in mind you're on deck. Um... And he is just doing shit at this. So he's going to swap to his axe. Um, and make some swings of stuff. Bring it. <laughs> Step to oh, me! Excuse me, it's not an axe, it's a mace. Bring it. Natural 20 <laughs> hits for fuck's sake. Wow. I mean, Duh. brought it. Yeah? Yeah. So, okay. Scott, you're going to need to make a constitution saving throw, and you take seven bludgeoning reduced to uh, reduced to three. Three? Yep. Okay, minus three, and a con save. I don't have Ragnar vicinity. Ten. Yeah, his DC is 12. Um, so, you who are, um, as he brings this mace down, you feel, oh, it hits, it doesn't hurt you all that much, but you start to sway a bit as you are poisoned. Ooh. Okay. So you are under the effect of the poison status until the beginning of his next turn. Okay. Um, and he gets second attack, so he's going to try and hit you again. So that means I have disadvantage on attacks, right? So the poison yeah, does that is, that is the salient okay. part of it most of the time. Cool. But a nine misses you, so he slams in with his mace and then just completely misses the second strike. He's clearly breathing really heavily. One or two more good hits is going to take him down. Carsey, your turn. So I'm just going to poke my head back around, and can I see the roguish type at the top? Um, let's see. Or is he hiding? 
He's not hiding, but yeah, the pole is not in your way, so you can't see him. Yep. So he's going to attempt to eat Chaos Bolt. Okay. Make your attack. Uh, what's the range? Oh, 120. You're fine. So a 7 just misses. Sorry. Alright. And I'll stay there. My god, Andy. I know, no. right? Your turn. You have 5 okay. rolls and your highest roll is a 7. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... Well, I might as well attack recklessly, right? Actually, one other thing. Carsey, as you lean around the pillar, you place your hand on it to sort of give yourself a better aim, and the pillar ignites in flame. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, uh, Scott, sorry. Gotta love, gotta love that chaos, craziness, wild magic stuff. All right, so I'm going to go reckless so that I don't have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And we're going to attack. One, two, and three. That's a 12, a 14, and an eight. Unfortunately, Unfortunately all of those do miss. <sighs> Sorry. That's all right. Mm. She'll Not just roll 20 fucking up. We've been rolling bad today. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. She'll swing at him and then growl when nothing actually hits. Okay. So that's going to make it the priest's turn. Who's just going to... We don't have time for this anymore. Um, and... Let's see. So, all right. So, I'm going to need deck saves from Ska, Alistar, and Wolfina. Oh, Alistar, it looks like something's being cast. Yeah, so, <laughs> you keep doing this. I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I count a spell. Okay. I'm gonna cast it uh, at third level again. Yeah, that'll counterspell it. <sighs> yeah. So you just don't care what's being cast this time? No. Alright. <laughs> Fuck that priest. <laughs> The veteran's still not here. Sucks because he's their tank. Wolfina, it's your turn. Okay, guy, I can't actually see your health bar. How are you? Are, do you look pretty haggard right now, or? Um, yeah, I'm. I'm a bit down. Okay. Man, but... you live. <laughs> well, I mean, at some point, I should switch over and start doing some healy stuff. I'm going to cast um, Healing Word as my bonus action at second level. So hang on one second. Let me grab that. It is how much more at second level. Double check. It's an extra D4. And because I'm a life cleric, you'll also get an extra um, three. Sweet. So, three automatically because whatever it's called, but this life, yeah, disciple, wait, hang on a second, it's actually two, so it's an extra four, yeah, an extra four, because I'm casting it at second level, right off the bat. <laughs> right, just let me know what the total is, and then I will. And then, oh, this is nice. And that sucks, but that's what that is. So, so I get... five plus four, nine. You get nine. All right. Nine. I get, and I get 
four. I mean, that's not so. It, yeah, the one it's, sucks, but mm -hmm. it's paired with a four, so yep. it turns out. To oh, be yeah, and for healing it's word, not bad. Average. Yeah. And then, um, as my action, I'll go ahead and toss, um, a sacred flame at this guy. I just really want him down. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. He's yeah. gone. So, I will. It's weird the way this is on here. So, 16 deck save. If he succeeds, he takes zero. If he fails, he takes 10 radiant. Okay. He was hoping he fails. Nine fails, so yeah. Ten radiant. Oh. He is so fucking close to death. Okay, that's He's my turn. Technically still alive, though. So Are that... you doing anything with the spiritual weapon? Uh, I can't because I yeah, bonus right. action was used for him. Word. That's right. That's right. I forgot that was a bonus. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Cool. Um, that I would make Five's turn and. He's behind the pillar, so none of you can see what he's doing. Alistar, your turn. I feel like the answer is judging everybody. <laughs> Probably. But hey, that's fine. I mean, that's what Ragnar's um... in the stands doing. <laughs> I feel like Ragnar's giving live commentary. Oh, that could have been better. Mm, we're gonna need to work on that. Yeah, no, he's mostly just watching tactics and analyzing their performance. Yep. Mm. We'll have a conversation after the fact. Right. Tired of this, um, dumb motherfucker. Uh, casting magic missile with my wand, which is one of the items along with my loot. That's pretty much all I brought. Um,. I'm gonna cast it at third level. Yep. Make the roll. He takes nineteen. Nine nineteen damage. The thug? The the spirit one. Yep. yep. Okay. So yeah, you sort of place out your wand, um and and your magic missiles. Can you put the text of magic missile in chat for me? Because I'm not sure yes. if this ability would affect it. Uh, give me a sec. I need to just tell it to. Um... Uh, there we go. Spell description in attack. Magic missile. I'm recasting at first level, but I'm, I, I've already cast it at level. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I just need the text. Yeah, that doesn't have... Yep. I guess that's just gonna work. Okay. They can't do their cool teamwork thing. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> he's dead. He's down, let's say. He's bleeding out at the moment. Um, and, yeah, the announcer will come over. Well, that was a heart-beating match. That you running around in Darius. Dang. But it's over now, folks. And... Also spins the wand around and like holsters it in his his um, in his like holster pocket thing. Like and sort of else. as he says it's over now, um, Wolfina, you feel <clears throat> the magic of the Feywild pressing on your own magic and warping the spell as this guy yeah. comes back. I understand. Yes. So, I will immediately, um, I'm going to turn and look at Carsey and say, well, what do you think? They had some good tactics. Um, Sky, you do probably notice the priest walking over towards the downed ally. Okay, um, 
Am I still hasted? Or did you uh, let that go? That's up to Carsey. Yep. Nope, still going. Uh, okay. I think it's only a minute, though, so it's probably on its way. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. But this is this person taking the dash action to get to their dying ally. That's fine. Um, if um, if we're now out of combat, um, it's been announced that it's over. I was just letting you know I, that this is right. Something. I'll rush over and cast spare the dying. Um, well, no, I was gonna, I was gonna say um, yeah. you don't you don't have to um, because it is. Uh, we're now out of combat, so as soon as as soon as we were, it's told that we're out. Um, I'll drop the rage and I will cast Spare the Dying. Okay. If, if I see that Scar's trying to help this fellow, I will drop the concentration on haste. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna need an initiative check between you two to see which of those things happens first. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is next le that is some next How level would petty. You arbitrate that. That is some next level petty. Oh hell you guys. Yes. We both got that twenties, but I beat you. Yeah. So for those at home, that was two natural twenties. So Scott, you do cast spare the dying and Carsey sort of the instant you see that starting to happen, you release the concentration on the spell, but unfortunately, you're just a little behind her impulse because she is much closer to the situation. Um, but yeah. The autumn thug is no longer bleeding out. Yes. And Sky, you feel that tiredness lock up your muscles. Um, yeah, she'll just drop straight to the ground okay. and just sit down. The priest will sort of come over, actually heal that guy, and start walking with him off stage, giving giving you a nod. Um, but this guy's not... sitting on the ground, like panting like a wolf. <laughs> okay. I just spit on the ground. Sorry, I will look around. Does anybody else look hurt? Um, let's see. Sylvester's nope. not injured. Nobody else is hurt. Okay, cool. It's just a little... a little bit hurt, and you're hurt, but yes, that's it. Um, I mean, Sylvester's a little bit hurt, but he's invisible, so you can't see him. Oh, that's right. Sylvester I, is I dropped slightly injured. I dropped and... Okay. Sylvester looks barely nicked. Okay. I will, I will say, you know, I will say, offer a hand to Scott and say if we have a few minutes um, I can take care of that thanks yeah. I assume all of you head off and let the next round commence mm -hmm. yep actually uh, Ragnar where... Ragnar will meet them at the exit Okay. alright so you've passed your first rounds that's great no take a breather catch your catch your catch your stamina back up get your wind back in you don't cast any more spells. You've got to save those for the next round. Understood? What? No, ma no magic until you're back in the ring. Thank you, I was excellent. How much time do we have, approximately? You have no idea. They didn't tell you. I will ask someone. As long as it takes. Sometimes a match can be something that's over in an instant. Sometimes the same match could la last for two days if that's, if that's how long it takes them. One to get a win. Um, I will cast message on Ragnar. Okay. Don't presume to control me. And there is a sword out at Carsey's throat. Mm. Ah, lovely. Uh, well, Fina, this person that you're talking to is like, you know what, you, you guys deal with your own coach. Bye. He's not looking at him. It's just there. And then it's gone. 
So should I take that for your reply then? Carsey is being ignored currently. Hmm? Anyway, um, I feel like we should take care of this injury situation. So while I understand your concern, this one's not going to be much use bashing things if I don't do something. No, very fair. You all did quite well in there. Hmm? Um, I will reach and grab my holy symbol and I'm going to use um, one of my two daily channel divinities, Preserve Life. And how many hit points do you need to get back to full? Uh, as a reminder, Preserve Life can only bring people to half. Yep. It can what? Only bring people to half. Let me find the full class. Yeah, yeah I'm already above half. Uh, yeah, I don't think Preserve Life is going to have... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm learning that. Okay. It's fine. It's, it is I a just... weird quirk of the spell that... And I read that, to me I thought it being the most obnoxious person going, what's half your health? I mean, it's a ridiculously <laughs> powerful thing other than that limitation. Yeah. When I read it, I thought it meant that you can't bring somebody more than half their health. Yeah, I know. No, uh, the max, That's the cap that, that that ability can bring someone to is whatever half their full is. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and I'm already above half, so... Damn it, I used to be a Tempest cleric. This <laughs> <laughs> no worries, we all have you to learn always as we go. Hear a, heal <gasps> thirdly. It's just that your abilities have certain caveats. Yes. Because you hey, are man, I'm a knowledge cleric, life. so, you know. Let's see here. Well, I still feel like that's going to be kind of important. So, let me see. Since y'all are so comfortable, is prayer of healing more um, economical than a cure wounds? Let's see. It probably is. Because it has to have multiple does. people. Mm -hmm. Up to six people. 2d8 plus 5. As opposed to a second level cure wounds would end up being... What is this? While we're doing this, um, I'm going to take the opportunity and use uh, Inspiring Leader. Eat. Exactly the same, except that I get to cast it on both of us. So yes, I'm gonna use, gonna take ten minutes and cast um, prayer of healing on <laughs> everybody. Uh, so during that during that time, <laughs> yeah, the overlapping of Alistar's strangely bragging song that does genuinely inspire. <laughs> he has extended prayer, error. You guys get a fair amount of cool stuff out of those. And then, then I kicked his ass. I kicked his ass. This is wrong. It's not eight. It should be eight plus five. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. Sorry. I don't know what's that thing happening again. That's right. Okay. So, so we have um, eight plus five plus eight plus uh, temporary five? hit points. So, 13 temporary hit points for everyone. Cool. And then yours is. Mm -hmm. That was on yours? 13 yeah, temporary that's, points? That's, so 13 that's, hit points from the prayer of healing and 13 temporary? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Awesome sauce. Reminder that temporary hit points are kind of like a shield bar, so it's it's in the separate little tab. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yes. Oh, okay. right. I have to fix that so it actually oh, works. Okay. Oh, because... It's basically... Oh, except... I forgot. There's actually, it does more than that. I think you get an extra four. Let me double check. Yeah. Because of the... Cool. So... The healer. <clears throat> yes, you get an extra four. Oh, yeah. wait, no, I'm the wrong one. And so do I. Yep. So you guys take time, you rest, you potentially watch some matches. Um... Yes, so anybody who was involved in that, if you're not at maximum, you can take an extra. So I get an extra how much more? Oh, extra four more. Two Sweet. plus the spell's level every time I do healing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sweet, so, now I'm only three under my max. Cool. That's plus you got all those temporaries. Hmm. Yeah. 
courtesy of the bard. Yeah. And yeah. I need to add those temporary hit points. Killer. I like it. Nice. I hate that the middle circle goes on the top and the right hand circle goes in the middle. Are there any food vendors or anything about uh Aaron? Yeah, there's there's a few different ones. There's also some food available to the contestants in the contestant area that is free. Okay. But that's mostly like meats and snacks and stuff that's good for keeping up your energy mostly. All right. He's going to buy a round of drinks for the team <laughs> that went out in the uh arena but he is not going to imbibe himself he's gonna go back to his seat and wait for his number to be called hmm. all right so yeah about halfway into these the rest of the group going about their rest ragnar you are called to the arena okay and i need to delete some character tokens that don't need to be here and also while i'm watching i am going to utilize my um my super cool thing Yep. Which is part of my holy symbol. So, hey. Yep. Pearl of Power. Regain a second. <clears throat> For some Pearl reason, I lost Click Clack from the map. So, Click Clack re into existence. Oops. <laughs> Ta-da! Can I ask another question? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because of the way the Pearl works, it says you can you speak the command word and expend a spell slot. If the expended slot is fourth level higher than new slot third, so in other words, I can, even though I haven't used any of my third level spell slots, I can give myself an extra one because my expended spell level was fourth. Is that can how I'm reading? Can you put that in text? Yes. Okay. Thanks. It's another really weird thing. That is weird. Hmm. That sounds super confusing. definitely how that reads isn't it okay i'm gonna give myself an extra third level spell i'm making a note <laughs> so i have four instead of three now yeah huh. yeah so interesting that's kind of cool yeah so basically it's um um yeah <sighs> yeah so that, that slot, you essentially regain, you've used a fourth level spell, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so essentially you regain that fourth level slot, but now it acts as only a third level one. Until okay. I check the rules more thoroughly and see if that makes sense, given okay. other stuff. That's uh, how it's worded, and I'm confused. Yeah, the one thing I'm not sure about is if the pearl automatically restores only your lowest available or if you get right. to pick the specific slot. That's no, where you I'm can choose. Oh. You can specific, you, it, it doesn't say it expi explicit in the phrase, but the fact it says you speak the command word and regain one expended spell slot yeah. implies that you choose. And if you only have fourth level or higher expended, mm -hmm. then you're getting another third. Yeah. Okay. The question I is if if you second. have first or second level if it defaults to those but i will check later okay for now yes that's how we're gonna have that otherwise it'll it, be an extra sec it'll restore my second because the only spells that i spent were yeah um no i just didn't remember you casting a fourth level spell that's all i was asking about. banishment oh right so yeah you can you can get it as a third level um yeah just the third level slot. Slot, uh, yes. Do, 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 do. Why is this token in a weird shape? But, yeah. I'm out of Yeah, no, apparently the phrasing is there due to the original wording, which was basically you use an action and regain one expended spell slot of up to third level. As it was, you couldn't use it at all then if you hadn't expended a third level or lower yeah. spell slot. And warlocks after seventh level don't have anything yeah. 
So it was useless to them <laughs> because all of their spell slots are always max level. So yeah. Yep. So instead. So yeah. So instead, you get you get yeah. basically a third level spell slot back, even if you don't have any Excellent. expended spell slots under th uh, from third or below. Yeah. Cool. Because I'm out of second level slots, but I haven't used any third level. Mm-hmm. Well. Mm. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Sure. You know what? I give up on finding the token I was using because I was stupid and accidentally deleted all of my tokens I had on this map for oh, like no. various challenges. So, you know what? You're just going to have to trust me on what this is. Um, Ragnar, as you walk into the ring for your match, there is a large sort of long rope laid out in a straight line across the dirt. Of now the that makes the 50 feet of rope he's probably using fairly useless. Because <laughs> yeah, he's got um, a healing potion, his sword, and 50 feet of rope. <laughs> so, um... The announcer will... Yeah, and I deleted all the tokens, so I guess we're just going to use the Spear Guys token. You know what? No, we're going to use we're you going to use the Sword Guys to the Veterans token because he didn't get to fight. It's not <laughs> him, but um, there's this swerving woman in sort of breastplate um that steps up to the other side and the announcer will, "All right, we're back from break." Aiken, we've got uh, two dwarves. For some reason, they're here in the Feywild. We don't <laughs> ask questions, folks. We just announce the event. <laughs> so, let's put them to work. You, you each grab one end of that rope. Oh, the rules are first person to fall over or lose. Who's hold of their end of the rope who loses this competition? And tug of war, stab each other to death. We don't care. Just fight. <laughs> I love this so much. Okay. How thick is this rope? Is it like an actual just like kind of rope? Mm -hmm. So it is, you know those tug of war ropes or the ropes they use to make children grab onto so they don't get lost? Yeah. It's about less than half a foot in thickness, but it's fairly thick. Okay. Ragnar will just loop it around his waist and tie it real quick okay. and then he casts hold person on her <laughs> yeah all right so we are gonna roll initiative okay <laughs> hot damn that's the third natural 20 in a row on initiative that's nuts yeah, they're working well on that. Um, and Delilah will just grab onto the rope with one hand. Okay. All right. And yeah. So he's going to cast Hold Person. Um. All right. So that goes off on make your roll. Her, her spell save is 16. Wisdom save. DC of 16. Uh, that's me for tonight, guys. Uh, All right. Thanks for everything. I'm going to head out. Have a good one, dude. Very late. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Good night. Thank night. you, everyone. All right. Yeah, she is held. Fuck. Okay. We're going to be quick. Ragnar's a dick. Um... <laughs>
She's held. She's still holding on to the rope, and she doesn't fall over because that's not what the spell does. Right. Uh, yeah. He will walk up to her, take it out of her hand, and just drop it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she is held, so she cannot resist. <laughs> As Ragnar just flicks a finger, walks over to a lady, yanks a rope out of her hand. <laughs> And that is where we're going to end tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar's a dick. That was On Ragnar crazy. taking the Perfection. simplest solution to the problem. I mean, that's not too far off from what Click Clack was planning to do, which was get within 30 feet, if I ever managed to get within 30 feet. Um, uh, uh, anyway. All right. Well, this has been fantastic. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.